this is english short hand dictation number 260 and the dictation speed is 140 words per minute ready start i am delighted to be here in this special function organized to celebrate the platinum jubilee celebrations of rashtri military school bengaluru i congratulate all the cadets teachers alumni and staff members on this special occasion since it was established in 1946 the school has come a long way and is acknowledged as one of the finest boarding schools in the country this region comprising modern karnataka has shown the highest examples of spirituality art architecture science education and bravery through centuries Karnataka has emerged as a leading center of modern education and technology. I am happy to note that Karnataka got the top rank among all the states in the latest India Innovation Index. Bengaluru has emerged as a globally comparable center of learning, technology and enterprise. I am told that in a recent report Bengaluru figured among the top 5 venture capital funding hubs across the world in 2021 under the guidance of the governor and the leadership of the chief minister Karnataka has been making remarkable strides I congratulate the entire team of the state government for the praiseworthy achievements of Karnataka Ladies and gentlemen as we know Rashtri military schools were conceived with the aim of providing quality education to the wards of army personnel later the schools were opened to civilians i am glad to note that rashtri military schools are truly national in character i am told that at present cadets from 23 states are receiving education in this school from jammu and kashmir to kerala the cadets here represent our unity in diversity i am sure that this blending has helped the cadets to learn and appreciate the culture language and traditions of their fellow cadets today rashtri military school bengaluru can feel proud of its rich heritage the alumni of this school have distinguished themselves as highly decorated military officers eminent judges political leaders civil servants entrepreneurs sports persons performing artists and achievers in many other fields of excellence my dear cadets it must be a matter of pride for all of you that one of your distinguished alumni was given the nation's highest gallantry award param veer chakra posthumously for his courageous actions and making the supreme sacrifice during a un operation in congo i have been delighted to confer distinguished service decorations on some of the alumni of your school at rashtrapati bhavan i am confident that the impressive list of the school's alumni will inspire you to follow their examples and serve the nation with distinction i am glad to know that from this academic year onwards girl cadets are going to get admissions into rashtri military schools across the country as you all know starting this year the gates of the national defense academy have also been opened for girls our daughters are breaking many glass ceilings and setting new records in various fields making the country proud when i travel to different universities and institutes across the country i witness many instances of girls performing better than boys as the supreme commander i am happy to see the rising number of women in the armed forces including in combat roles i am confident that the girl cadets joining this prestigious school will contribute in defending the nation and play their role in nation building it is a happy coincidence that the platinum jubilee celebrations of the school are coinciding with the 75th year of our independence i am glad to know that a cycling expedition was organized by the school under the campaign cadets and staff of the school covered a distance of 1800 kilometers they inspired people to join the armed forces and narrated stories of india's freedom movement in remote villages of karnataka andhra pradesh kerala 
Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, I compliment the school for such patriotic initiatives. I am confident that the school will continue to provide holistic education to you and future cadets and inculcate in you military ethos and discipline. I am sure that your school will continue to produce leaders with high moral values who will take India forward as a strong nation. I wish you all a very bright future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to be with you all as this convocation is a landmark event in the lives of the bright young students who have earned their degrees and medals today. I congratulate the students for their achievements. I also congratulate the parents and teachers who have toiled hard to witness this day which is so important in the lives of these young students. I attach great importance to this event as it is directly related to the future of our talented youth and thereby to the future of India. Only yesterday, I interacted with many vice chancellors of central universities and directors of institutions of national importance in the presence of the Union Minister of Education and experts of higher education who are responsible for implementing the National Education Policy 2020 and other related measures. Education is the greatest enabler. The future of our country depends on good education of our young population. Therefore, I try not to miss any opportunity that is related to promotion of education. I remember having participated in virtual mode at the conference on implementation of the national education policy in Jammu and Kashmir in September 2020. When the Lieutenant Governor requested me to participate in that conference, I happily agreed. Many of you may be aware of the fact that the Lieutenant Governor came into the field of public service with an illustrious academic career as an engineering student. I appreciate his efforts for improvement of education in Jammu and Kashmir. I appreciate the team of Indian Institute of Management, Jammu, led by its director for taking the institute forward in line with the educational objectives of the nation. As we know, the National Education Policy seeks to position India as a knowledge hub in today's knowledge economy. It seeks to make our youth equipped for the world of 21st century while preserving our ancient values which remain relevant even today. For India to become a global knowledge hub, our institutes of learning have to be globally comparable. With this perspective, a presentation was made on global ranking of higher education institutions at the visitors conference I mentioned about. I am glad to note that the number of Indian institutions in the global ranking is gradually increasing. I expect new institutions like Indian Institute of Management Jammu to quickly adopt global best practices and aspire for higher ranking. We are in an era of enterprise, innovation and value creation. I have been informed that innovation councils have been set up in higher education institutions in almost all the states and union territories. India's ranking in Global Innovation Index has improved from 76 in the year 2014 to 46 in 2021. Innovation and entrepreneurship strengthen each other. With the convergence of technologies and opportunities, many startups have become very successful and are being described as the emerging mainstay of the Indian economy. Unicorns, which are startup enterprises with market valuation of $1 billion and above, are proving to be game changers. These unicorns, most of which are set up by young people, must be a source of inspiration for you all. The mindset of being a job giver and not a job seeker among the youth of India is one of of the key factors in our country having one of the best startup ecosystems in the world. I feel very happy to note that the Institute of Management, Jammu, in collaboration with CII, is going to set up a special diversity cell for helping potential entrepreneurs from scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. I am told that this is going to be the first center of its kind among the Indian Institutes of Management. I appreciate everyone concerned with this initiative to promote entrepreneurship and inclusion. The establishment of Indian Institute of Management, Jammu, in 2016 marks the beginning of a new chapter of higher education in this area. I am sure that this institute will soon emerge as a major education destination for students from different parts of the country and even from other countries. 
I am glad to note that students from 25 states and union territories are receiving education from the faculty drawn from all over the country.